Falls or Cruces, there's about 3 million people. Because um, El Paso on its own, not even the metropolitan area, it's 900,000 people. And then um, <coughs> Juarez is about 2 million people. Yeah. Well, and you have, I think you have a ton of people that kind of have a dual residence. Yep. You know, we talk to, you know, guys all the time, <clears throat> the high horse guys, you know, guys are, you know, living in Texas. They've got employees living in Texas and they're, they're still working and, and operating and living in New Mexico a lot of the times. Yeah. <clears throat> so no, you have this huge population right there, yeah. uh, much bigger than Albuquerque. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of talent down there and it's really cool to see um, companies start to emerge and make a name for themselves. And you got little Dubai <clears throat> down there and they're killing it too. Yeah. I mean, they're like number four or five in the state and sells with like 17,000 people <laughs> That's of a fucking population. That's Sunland. Yeah, Sunland so, Park, yeah, yeah little <laughs> Dubai. Um, but yeah, I, I called it that back in the day, you know, when, when we first went yeah. down there and checking it out because you just saw all the potential. We saw all the little farms starting to kind of buy everything up. And so those of you that, you know, don't get the reference or whatever, Chad's talking about a very little town um, on the border of, of New Mexico, Texas, that's just developing at a rapid rate. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dubai. Tense, <laughs> little yeah. Dubai, yeah. Um, to where you've just got, you know, a town that didn't have no action two, three years ago other than maybe a gas station or a fucking, Burrito you know. shop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, quick stop off has yeah. now become one of the biggest money makers in the state. Oh, if you follow the state's it. map <clears throat> of where the money's at, you know, the track the tax money, you know, cannabis is good. For New Mexico kind of thing, they're showing these these cities that are bringing the most in, and, oh, yeah. and Sunland every time is is killing it. Las oh. Cruces is killing it. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we're starting to see the the wealth and the the money in New Mexico in, in different spots. Yeah, oh, definitely. and and that's cool. Hopefully, all this money that the state's collecting, they'll actually put to some good, and we'll start to become a prettier state, better infrastructure, you know, more landscaping, yeah. you know, more pride in, in these, especially small towns, yeah. you know what I mean, that <clears throat> now have so much tourist traffic, yeah. you know. Right. And, you know, Sunland Park is just really missing, like, a consumption lounge, you know, something to keep the Texans in the... They don't know. have one. Yeah, they don't. Not nope. yet. Not yet. They're working on it. We went to one uh, the other day. They should be up here soon. Um, which one was it? Uh, Field of Dreams. Yes. Yeah, Field, Field of Dreams. Dreams. Uh, looks like they're going to be. Set well, one and there's up. just you. You briefed on it. You kind of skipped over it real quick. But to keep the Texans here, yeah, that's smart because, um, you know, a lot of them just come in and fucking book it right away. Oh yeah, right. You know, Every time. for retail and for for tourism and for the hotels and mm -hmm. the restaurants and the. You know, I heard they're making some sort of amusement, entertainment over yeah, there. Yeah, that's been planned there for a while. You know, all that stuff only survives if they stay a little bit. Mm -hmm. They have to actually spend the time there. Yeah. Um, so make it worth a while. I don't yep. see how the casinos yep. couldn't, like, figure out how to do something to... Because I know you can't mix alcohol with uh, this business, obviously, but um, do a concert. Don't sell, sell alcohol. Have vendors. They have the space, like you said... Uh, how do we keep them here? How do we make this uh, city and or town better? Well, and how do we get them to v venture further into New Mexico? Oh, right. You know, of course, uh, Sunland Park's right there. But, I mean, how do we get them to come to Las Cruces? How do we yeah. get them to go to Chaparral? How do we get them to go to these other places? Because Other than you know, the Hatch Chili bringing them in and whatever. Fuck, all the way to Hatch, right? yeah. And even Mal Wolf. Yeah. But, like, there's only, like you said, specific things. We got to yeah. figure out how to yeah. do more. Well, and we want them to come. You know, the, the way tourism works is they come in to your state and they spend money. Yeah. They spend money. They start enjoying themselves. And then they look, what can we do here? Mm -hmm. And and they look at the map of, you know, said place and they start plotting out where they want to go yeah. and why they want to go there. So, yeah. yeah, no, I think the quicker we start spending this cannabis tax money on New Mexico, um, the quicker we start really focusing on that and keeping people here yeah. um, is the, the quicker we're going to see more of a benefit from cannabis money. I agree, because uh, even the Las Cruces City Council, they're... Uh, the, there's a pamphlet at the, you know, like a little city uh, chamber or something like that. Um, and it's a cannabis crawl for all the dispensaries. Um, but there's no place to like do a real cannabis crawl. It's just telling you where they are. Yeah. So I think there's some talks um, from my understanding of actually doing a cannabis crawl, um, getting someone, you know, to provide drivers, you know, of course, just like any yeah. kind of, you know, bar crawl. 
um, and take it to different spots. And then hopefully by then, <laughs> um, unfortunately, Seoul shut down. I don't know if you guys know that or not. Um, and Crucis was our only consumption lounge, and Dude. hopefully more open up. I we I did hear about it. Yeah, um, yeah. Did they anybody release any information on what happened there? Uh, you o- know, other than the employees said that they were closed, and then top uh, ownership or management got a hold of Chad. Yeah, and yeah. I haven't heard back from them because uh, you guys did business with them. Well, we we're trying to, but yeah, we also like showing love to different dispensaries and whatnot. So. We just wanted to go enjoy the lounge and see what's happening, yeah. but everything was locked. Yeah, yeah, we were. We, Damn. There was a sign that said, you know, use side door. Because uh, I don't know if you've ever been there. It's this old building. It's actually haunted. It's, it's, they say there's a, a curse on it. You know, pretty yeah. much everybody that does business there goes out of business. Built on um, the Indian burial ground. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, it's a pretty, fairly good sized building. And so the consumption lounge on the far left side. And they're like, yeah, go over, you know, go over there. So we're like, okay. And, you know, we're like, use which side door? And so we used. One of the other ones on the right. We looked at the window. We didn't really see anybody. We're like, okay, there's cars in the parking lot, but it don't look like no customers. So did their whole operation shut down? Because, uh, I mean, they had a consumption lounge, a dispensary, and a manufacturing, right? Yeah, I mean, from yes. my understanding, from what all I know yeah. is, yeah, all those shut down. However, I don't wow. know if they still have the licenses or not. Yeah, I can't yeah, I know. who knows? Yeah. Um, and I'm guessing, you know, you never know. I mean, it it's hard to make money right now. There's oh, yeah. a lot of competition. Yep. You know, I'm... You know, I hate to speculate, you know, um, but I'm guessing possibly they weren't making the money they, you know, thought they were going to. And it just wasn't a good business, yeah. job, you know, choice to, to move forward. Um, you know, that's what I could guess. Hopefully it wasn't anything corrupt or well, shitty we did or, see, or bad uh, that happened. You we know? did see an ex- additional two of their dispensaries opening up in town. And I think both of them were going to have consumption lounges to them. So, I mean, it could have been fast yeah, expansion. One, one yeah. closes, multiple open up. Yeah. So that's wild. You know, that's wild to see that in our state and see that that's where um, we've gotten to. You know what I mean? I, it, it's been quick. It feels like it was, I mean, we're what, a year and a half in? Yeah. Yep. Like um, I said, sped up timeline. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I just hope I always say it, the cream rises to the top, you know, the good companies, the good, you know, um, dispensaries, the good grows, the good manufacturers will all find their way, find their place, find their foothold, and we'll just have a, you know, a very good quality um, kind of selection out there. I agree. I mean, it's getting better all the time, especially yeah. in the South. You got to come to the South, man. We'll show you some good stuff that's popping up, and it's, it's I need really to, surprising. God, I don't get away from this fucking place. Yeah, you to. need yeah. to, dude. I, I, I listened to the know. comedians yesterday talking about, I got shot while walking my cute, two cute dogs. He shows a scar, and I was like, man, uh, he just, I felt safer in East L.A. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Budke is crazy, bro. Uh, it's um, nuts, dude. Yeah, on that note, um, why don't you guys introduce yourself? Oh, good, yeah. Good to have you here on the farm table. Appreciate you. Yeah, that's a long intro, huh? Right, <laughs> right, right. Oh, shit, my bad. <laughs> yeah, so uh, my name's Chad Lozano. I'm, I've actually been on the show before. Yeah. Um, I've, oh, yeah. I've known Don for a long time. I'm from the medical cannabis side. I was an advocate for many years. Helped uh, get the laws changed. You know, um, actually, the reason why we're um, here with legal cannabis is, you know, uh, myself and many other individuals that came before oh, yeah. me, you know, that fought. Um, I so saw shout it. out to them. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, you were you were there the whole time. <laughs> so who are you who are you with today? Who are you representing today? So today, uh, and now I'm I'm working with uh, Cruces Craft Cannabis. Oh, yeah. Um, they, we haven't really figured out my uh, my role title yet. So uh, we'll just say it's more in the in the PR side uh, outreach. <laughs> we we want to try to get them like more acquainted to what we do. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I'm Josh. Well, Joshua Viegas. Yeah, nice to meet uh, you. Hey, pleasure's all and mine. You're one of the owners. Like, Yes, sir. Yeah. One of the owners, CEO of Cruces Craft Cannabis. Nice. Um, shoot. Like I said, we want to have good people to help us do great things. Chad is a good person who's obviously done those things. Uh, we like to involve everyone to what we do as far as like knowledge and <coughs> various shit. So yeah. we'll catch them up for sure. So you guys, uh, you guys are manufacturer, grow, Both. retail? Or do you guys retail too? No, 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 no. no. Okay. So you retail is something we're thinking about because okay. during the intro, where we're talking about we got competition and stuff, so our plan is to see what happens, establish ourselves a brand, like, just like you, good sir. Yeah, thank and you. And shit, like, uh, we figured how we gonna get our Nietzsche to stand out. Everyone grows, everyone does this and that. And so we dealt with other people and extractions. We figured, let's do it the simple way, let's do it organically yeah. and solventless. Yeah. And so that's pretty much- So you guys much... just do raws and, and, and bubble hash? Yes, sir. Bubble oh, yeah. hash products. And we're trying to not be a one-trick pony. So like, 
we're trying to do like edibles, pens, and whatever else that we can yeah. get our knowledge in. Well, man, I, I think I got to try some peach rings the other day. Oh, yes, sir. Um, that one's good. With uh, Cruz gave me it. And phew, shout out. Man, shout yep. out Stonehead. Yep. Um, yes, sir. Good guy. That stuff was wild. Yeah. Yep. You know, send you on a trip, huh? And so that was single source. So that was from your grow. Yes, sir. And 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 pro- processed by you. Yes, sir. Nice, nice. Um, who does? So who is who? What's the core? Uh, what's the partners in? Because I know you got some brothers in it, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, shout out to everyone first and foremost. Uh, I thank the team and love the team because without uh, them, me and Chad and my brother wouldn't be able to show up in places like so. So Definitely. we're all working diligently. Oh, yeah. Um, so the main owners are you and your brother. Oh no 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 no. We got we got uh definitely a few people okay. on the on the roster. Nice. Um, but shout out to them. We love them. We're independently yeah. owned family and friends. Hell yeah. Uh, so we're scraping pennies and trying to do it without like MSOs or big money right now yeah. or anything. And that's hard, man. And uh, you know, that's how we started. Um, we started with four people. Yep. Um, and you know, no no uh, investment. Um, just making that buck every day chopping wood coming in fucking working late um doing the most um yep. just chopping wood yeah and yeah we've built it to a huge thing so you know good for you guys it's good to see um it's definitely possible to take it wherever you want to take it um so yeah hell yeah yeah like, pushing paddles and squishing pillows that's <laughs> 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 pretty much what we do straight up, straight up. we started showing chad just a little bit what yeah. we do other than his the advocacy and yeah. other like various knowledges we're yeah. like come into the lab bro and, you know what i mean we want to try to train everyone yeah. to do this and when we get production up you know how we yeah. grow yeah. love the logo um love the threes three crosses three c's three clouds um very cool um we have coco pallies too on yeah. the back hell yeah it's hell a, yeah. it's smoking very on new mexican pipe. notice the 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 cro- um the colors right away right yes, sir. um can't miss it it's cool man it's cool to see other new mexicans shine and it's cool to see talent emerge from these places that you know nothing's better than being the underdog and people not you know knowing you know there was anything there and all of a sudden yeah. boom what's yeah. up we've been here and so that's cool sure. man and and i love it and uh and yeah dude it's 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 cool to see and i'm glad you guys came up to me and uh introduced yourselves no we had um, to man because like we want to actually we we preach about community and the differences we want to actually like talk to people get involved <laughs> into it and not just sit back like joel Osteen and just preach something without practice so um, not open the doors right and yeah right during floods and shit. so, um, so with Hurricane. that being said I, we're going around talking to everyone i was all like damn like it's a blessing to be in that one yeah. place with everyone for yeah. sure no that's cool and you know for those of you we're not live so for those of you that don't know it's sunday um you know we're all out yeah. here on our own time you know uh-huh. these guys are up here you know uh, from Crucis, and it is, it shows <coughs> a passion for the industry. You know what I mean? We're not just here to smoke a joint. Um, we're here to to address New Mexico and to address the industry. And, you know, we've, we're known for, for talking about, you know, the dirt. So we, we obviously focus on the good, um, but there's a lot of corruption and there's a lot of fucking oh, bullshit yeah. that happens in this industry oh, yeah. and you know it's really sad it's it's affected new mexico you know hugely but that's <laughs> the experience too because like people choose to do business like that it sucks uh how they go about it but um like you said we will weed out yeah. the people who are not true and yeah it, well and shout out fucking ccd oh they, yeah, they yeah. starting it. to do yeah. the job now Fuck oh man. cracking whips bro Shit, i, I seen are. the paperwork i, I yep. seen the receipts i seen the pictures um if you're if you're fucking around to that blade level right now you, you're you're gonna get caught oh yeah 100 <laughs> percent. i mean at the very beginning you had about a year grace period yeah you know right about a well, year when you got larry barker yeah. fucking investigates <laughs> i mean larry's on the job yeah so um, you see him show up yeah, they should I call mean, him scary larry i tell you what he gets he gets everybody riled up he gets yeah. the people going you know what yeah. i mean in a sense where yeah he might be fucking you know ready ready to retire but he's out there pointing out what's wrong like this is wrong 100%. you know what i mean and when he's you got fucking larry barker saying that the cartel's involved and there's all kinds of fucked up shit happening 
there's there's a certain level of hey oh wait you know maybe not exactly what Larry Barker say yeah yeah but yeah. there's problems yeah um, oh yeah hundred percent and and for you know the state agencies to just you know continue to act like there's not they, they can't anymore yeah and that's why you're seeing this crackdown and you know you're also seeing people that are fed up with it yeah. you know business is business you know yeah, a, a lot of cannabis guys think that they're like above certain laws and they don't have to follow business law oh, and, yeah. they, and they can do and say and act like they're on the fucking street still yep. or you know they can you know rework you know union labor laws and different stuff like that that that's already been just fucking figured out yeah, yeah. um you if know you and, guys seen john wick uh I love the one of the catchphrases they say, without rules, we're no better than animals. Yeah, yeah, you know, and, and don't get me wrong, you know, there's definitely I got my anarchist side, but the the problem is 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 there needs to be some sort of structure because people can't fucking act right. Right. You yeah. just can't wild out. Um, and and you know, it it'd be great to say, Oh yay, fucking no rules, but fuck, we'd fucking blow up in a fucking day. Oh, dude, um, yeah. And, I mean, we and, blew up know, with rules. You know, it's, <laughs> <Exactly>. twice. <laughs> exactly. So it, it, there has to be something. Yeah, right. Um, and, and you're seeing it, man. And like I said, people are cracking back. You know, you've got a massive company, we won't say no names, Um, you know, being sued for tips right now. Oh, yeah. Um, You know 100%. what I mean? And it's not necessarily the the the... You know which company did it or what because there's probably many companies that oh, do it. a lot right it, it, it's the fact of i'm guessing that's illegal yeah um and you know they they probably started this because of like waitresses or something um that were getting their tips jacked making two dollars a fucking hour yeah um but bottom line can't do that yeah um you know and you see a lot of companies that fuck, I heard about a restaurant in Corrales, um, over by Rio Rancho in Corrales, that was taking the tips. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they were saying that it was, you know, fucked up and blah, blah, blah. And, yeah. I, and I don't know That's what ended wild. up happening there. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> basically what it shows us, I think, is that cannabis industry is open for the same scrutiny and the same laws as every other fucking industry. Yeah. Um, and you see lawsuits in every other fucking industry. Yeah. Um, you see labor disputes in every other fucking industry. And, and you're going to, as, you know, cannabis becomes more mainstream and the cannabis industry becomes the thing, you know what I mean? Just like the restaurant industry or the alcohol industry, <clears throat> you're going to see a lot more of this, you know, shady players being exposed, you know, and, and they're actually being current news about, you know what I mean? You know what's going on. Oh, it, yeah. Like the white collar crimes and stuff. They're just, yeah, I, I definitely pick up what you're dropping that's well, and we like, see fuck. it we see it with burner yeah. burner burner oh, yeah. burner yeah. fuck and the poor fucker i mean if guilty innocent like burner or not the dude's had how many lawsuits fucking oh, yeah. pinged off of it in the last one now with the you junkies. know what i mean like it seems I, like he's bulletproof it, it, all right yeah. for it, how long he's got money money makes you special you know mm -hmm. what i mean for sure you know like i said right or wrong who knows yeah um it's crazy though. You're starting. I think you're just starting to see that we're becoming a normal industry because yeah, we're, yep. we're being affected by the same thing. Every you know, there's fucking frivolous lawsuits and real lawsuits daily filed against everybody. Yeah, and to be honest, some of these lawsuits are actually really good for the industry. I mean, this this tip one, if it goes through and you know the plaintiff wins, um, then uh, that changes a lot of things. You know, um, <coughs> but you know, could we see something bad happen from it? You know, they could. You know say well now my employees are going to be tip wage you know or something like that or something dumb and i think that we actually need to challenge a lot of this other stuff a lot more you know especially like the rules and the laws in the state too there's certain stuff that i think we need to challenge more instead of just saying oh well, that sucks you know and because the ccd would straight up tell you this is how we interpret it yeah and what that means is we read it this way we're the ones in charge so that's what it means yeah challenge us that's really what that means. You will have to challenge us for us to say that it's not. It's this. it's not Mortal Kombat finish them, but like ask questions. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Simple. They kind of gave you a friendship at the end. You yeah, know? right. Yeah. Shake well, hands. and we need yeah. to. And this this industry needs to be looked at as a legitimate industry. Um, I really wish safe banking would pass. Me and, too. and you know, hundred percent. 
we we could we could not be affected the same way with our money. Well, well let me um, ask you this real quick. I've been wanting to ask everybody in the industry, and we have you know every, every other every, we have each other in the room. What do you feel about this whole federal um, rescheduling thing that's supposed to come down? You know, that's <clears throat> pending. I at think the moment. I think. <sighs> See, I, I'm I'm for the the D schedule. Yeah, me too. Um, now reschedule doesn't necessarily mean D, a good yeah. good or bad thing. Yeah. Now, if they take it out of a schedule that we're affected by 280e with, yeah. that's huge. Yeah, 100%. and that's a that's a big positive thing. Yeah. Um, do I think rescheduling, descheduling any of this fucking with the schedule will affect cannabis sales? no oh not not at all um not at all um now where it's gonna get weird is if they deschedule it's fucking corn you know it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. growing corn That's a good so, point. so they can't really do that um so now if they reschedule it's they they have to change the laws yeah um and you know what is it to be caught with this what is it mm. to grow fucking four plants for yourself next to four acres to, to you know sell dime bags out the front of your house yeah you know what i mean so yeah. is that allowed you know what i mean is it like tobacco you know right. what i mean which there's regulation Relations. on um but you know bet your ass you can grow a big old yard full of tobacco and yeah. fucking hook up yourself and your family and nobody bats a fucking eye yeah, yeah. you know um just like p tomatoes potatoes fucking hmm. carrots Bing. you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah. It's, you know, what, how much regulation will be involved with it? That's the scary part. Right? What are they going to deschedule yeah. it to? Yep. And how um, much control are they going to have of it? And yeah. So that definitely is like food for thought. So, 100%. And, and, and just so people know, and stop me if I'm wrong, but um, cocaine is Schedule 2, right? Yeah, cocaine is Schedule 2. So um, all Schedule 1, and, and Google so it, obviously, um, all Schedule 1 means is like no medicinal value. It's the most dangerous drug known to man. That's not just kidding. It's, it means it's a high dangerous and it has a high potential for abuse and uh, for health and everything. But fentanyl is scheduled too. Well, but and I think there hmm. is a like no medicinal value. Yeah, like, no medicinal clause value. Clause yeah. on, yeah, on yeah. schedule one. Yeah. So, so we already know that. Uh, so it's uh, drugs with no currently accepted medical uh, use and is. a high potential for abuse. Abuse. Some examples of schedule one drugs, heroin, yep. lysergic acid, uh, marijuana, and uh psilocybin meth. Yeah. yeah and meth so which is crazy because they use all kinds of amphetamines and medication yeah um so obviously they're you know methamphetamines and then there's different type of of phetamines yeah. they slip um, peyote in there so. yeah um, <laughs> yeah of course right. peyote's in one schedule one? Oh, Fuck yeah. yeah 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 so, i think psilocybin is two mushrooms so to, to put it to schedule two does not mean anything much um you know 280e was written I, I believe it's for any scheduled substance I mean, and you know it, it's it's weird so yeah um you know because it was written for rick ross who yeah. was a cocaine kingpin which is scheduled two not um, the not the rapper you know no not the, <laughs> not, not, the rapper, that. not the rapper the real rick ross. um so who knows who knows what's rescheduling will do yeah um you know i i think they need to take a serious look at 280 at safe banking at what's happening to people that are basically doing legal business paying legal taxes absorbent amount of taxes and and you know what kind of shit they're going through and what kind of you know yeah you know um so apparently 280e forbids businesses from deducting deducting otherwise ordinary business expenses from gross income associated with the trafficking of schedule one or schedule two yeah. narcotics Yep. Yeah, so I, I mean, I guess they'd have to go for three. Is there a schedule three? Tax yeah, I mean, yeah. this is where we're getting so into the fucking book of the, of, the yeah, more if, down you kind of go, the more pharma kind of has control of it. So that's where it gets scary. Well, and it was in see, make no mistake, you know, that the government has patented yeah. uh, cannabis in, in every form. Yeah, fucking you fucking name it. And then they um, will not answer why <laughs> long before fucking. Fuck, most of us were born. Yeah. Pineapple uh, Express. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, there's some so if they want it, they've already got it. Yeah. For sure. Um, and 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 that is a scary point. You know what I mean? And and that's that kind of doomsday 
fucking industry doomsday thought of, yeah, maybe they'll just say no. Yeah. We take it back. You know, you can get it from us and us only. Yeah. Yep. Um, now, I believe the people would not have that. Um, I, but, I agree. But who knows? Yeah. And you know, I, I kind of feel for the industry, it's going to do something for us yeah. locally. It'll it'll change. If <clears throat> I kind of feel like we would wait a couple of years. Yeah. It would be better for us if it happened a couple of years instead yeah. of like this year for New Mexico. Um, for the fact that we're not fully set up yet, you know, as a whole state, you know, as a market. So that's like another show. Yeah. yeah. So like, you know, not only are we going through this bubble right now that already bursted and all these places are, you know, just shutting down. And, um, and I looked at the numbers and they kind of stayed the same. And actually we lost eight, um, from last month officially. Now, what you really got to think about, I think that that starts to get another question is state to state commerce. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we have that know, in our, in our um, law re rescheduling um, could do one of two things. You know what I mean? It could allow us to transport, but it could also allow other States to transport in. Mm-hmm. Um, and if we think we're sad right now about people selling out yeah, of state products, that's going to rock us. Wait yeah. till they're allowed yeah. to bring to that in. That. Yeah. Um, and, and and of course those markets will beat our motherfucking price. Oh yeah. Um and 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 saturate in a matter of fucking. Yeah. Yep. So, you know, one's got to really think like what what you know it's it's a, it's it's a good question. You yeah. Know, what will rescheduling do? Um, will it be positive? Will it be negative? What what's and I think it's just you got to see. Yeah. yeah. And what we adapt from it. You yeah, know what exactly. I mean? What does it mean if they change the the laws? what 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 do we adapt as a state because at the end of the day states rights they're gonna have a certain say of like yeah we're going with that or not yeah you know what i mean because i mean there's so many states that have a legal adult market that it would be kind of hard just to shut all of us down you know and just say no it's only big farmer or no it's only going to be these big corporations i kind of feel at the end of the day um many 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 years from now um we'll be kind of left with um i hate to compare it to this because i i hate when people do it too <clears throat> but the way the alcohol market is, you have these really big companies, um, you find them everywhere, but now you have these the more local places, you know, yeah. especially here in New Mexico, we have some really great, you know, microbrew places and even some, you know, micro distilleries um, or some distilleries here that are local. I, I kind of feel at the end of the day, that'll be what, what it is. I kind of hope not because these micros are really restricted on what they can do. <laughs> well, and I think you're right. Um, I think that's, you know, as much as we want to not compare ourselves to the alcohol industry, I think that's exactly what you know, is, is in store for us on the, on the larger, <clears throat> larger front. Um, yeah. yeah. The ones that are established well, um, and have gotten to a certain size. Yeah. They might be able to be the, you know, the boss gays and the, the Cumbres and the local right. brands of, yeah, of yeah, you know, yeah. the local beer brands. And um, that's the hope of still staying but, around. But and... no, you know, Cali will become your, um, what? Where's all the beer factories? Milwaukee, Wisconsin, St. Louis, St. Louis. Yeah, you know, you know that'll become Cali, Colorado, you know, Washington. Yeah, you know what I mean. And that'll Oregon be the, those will be your your mass producers mm-hmm. of of the the mids. Yeah, you know, um, and, <laughs> and and we'll still bring that. You by. know, but mm. I think a certain level of the smaller guys will, um, you know, and smaller guys in a sense of you know massive massive company to the to the smaller businesses we have in new mexico i think a certain level of smaller guys will adapt and and pull their brand through and 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 offer something special um to the world yeah um and that's exciting yeah you know what i mean because don't quote me but i want to say santa fe brewing marble bosky like those beers are available out of new mexico yeah i've seen them in other states Yeah. yeah so um same thing got something special got something fucking dope to offer the world yep you know maybe one day you'll be able to you know what i mean um and it won't just Hmm. be new mexico so that's kind of like an optimistic side of it of yeah you know but no there will be fucking giants yeah um, hell yeah roaming around that that will will saturate the industry super um with with super yeah. Super super mids, dude. Um, you know, and they'll they'll dress it up in a pretty mylar bag. Um spray it with the hmm. beans. You know, <laughs> you know, but commercial cannabis is commercial cannabis. And unless you got fucking billions to fucking throw at it, just like the Anheuser Busch plant, I'm sure is worth fucking billions. Yeah. You know what I mean? So many you know, there's some there's some big fucking 
big dick energy there where they just said, we are beer. You know what I mean? And, and right. it's like America was like, okay, fine. Uh, just to give you guys some context, uh, schedule three drugs is things like um, Tylenol with codeine. <laughs> okay, so so, so if they if they do put it in that, then I think that corporatocracy, yeah. handing it off to big pharma or yeah. well, and like, so they already right. fucking own it, or yeah. it's up to it's going to be up to the highest bidder. You know, yeah. that's when the, yeah. that's when the gov will release them patents and mm -hmm. be like, patow. Um, and this is where our, our industry we'll really see. needs to speak up. We'll it's see right. the we'll see the rebellion. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah. that's what the rebellion ends up being is is <laughs> them telling us we can't grow or fucking cultivate or fucking have weed anymore. Burn right. it all down. <laughs> it's like America had a coup today uh, over marijuana. <laughs> I can see those headlines. Uh, they stormed the White House. <laughs> it all started with one work that they told he could not <laughs> grow his own weed. He heard the message from a bird on top of his mountain. It's the he same, came down same fighting. buffalo guy that broke into the Capitol. <laughs> <Dude, yeah. laughs> he just put on a hey, weed head. Hey, that poor bastard's still in fucking jail. Is oh, he really? I want to. I, wanna say, I think he got out. I saw an did interview he? with him where he talked about being in jail. Well, don't That's quote, awesome. don't quote me, but th they're calling it J Six. J Six. Uh, there's yep, there's yep, a yep. name for it. Yeah, the, it's a name for it. The... <laughs> Everything has a name. Damn. Yeah, it's, yeah it exists. J Six. It's. Just like COVID was an era. Damn it, Jess, <laughs> why'd you have to make it political? Oh, oh man. So, like, so there are still some fuckers in, in, in jail yeah. for, for, for old J6, um, where they were led on a tour um, of the... Uh, <laughs> That's wild. The, the building, um, and they're fucking... They jailed them like, like terrorists. Yeah. Um, which is wild, because I know everybody saw the same videos and stuff I saw, which, like I said, was, you know, a little more lively than like a Disney World tour, um, you know, where people are just being let through a fucking gate. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, whatever. But uh, mm -hmm. also, yeah, even yeah. bad shit happens yeah. at Disney. People don't yeah. realize. Oh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> Dude, I've, I've been in Austin, of course, of course, Disney has now. underground tunnels, too. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Goofy Dude, I have, I have, someone. I have 100% been in multiple more violent fucking mosh pits yes yes that was, that was yes. 100 the answer to the question and, and you paid to be there you were happy yeah, yeah. you were like fuck yeah i mean the security guards trying to keep yeah. it under control were... Wait, there's always that one asshole that's like back I can't yeah do it without fucking up audio but he's like pulling out one of those um yeah just that, fucking windmilling it yeah, yeah. <laughs> some people doing cartwheels or what <laughs> <laughs> oh shit I always tried to find that guy and just give him like one of those oh, yeah. good good ones right to oh, the yeah. floor yeah, yeah, yeah where yeah. he like he like reset real quick like yeah. oh, hey don't do that <laughs> and then he was he wasn't doing it anymore yeah. swinging in the pit is not culturally accepted <laughs> right. oh Stop. not at all Stop no. doing copa no. era in the damn mosh pit dude I saw a <laughs> video of my buddy he's like six foot four and there's this guy being stupid in the mosh pit he's like maybe five foot seven and so you know he looked like a tiny thing and like he pissed my buddy off and you just see him shove him and the guy goes about eight feet into a fence <laughs> yo i was like dude he was like the fuck bro <laughs> <laughs> now you know how us mexicans feel <laughs> um so what do you think what do you think net is next for for new mexico cannabis uh well i mean i've talked about this a lot on my, my podcast ask chad grassy logic you know yeah. I, I do a lot of predictions i guess and analytical stuff you know some of it comes true some of it doesn't you know, yeah. just like anything right um but you know right now we're going through that bubble yeah and so i say that and, and right now we're seeing those numbers kind of you know kind of halt yeah. of the licensing um for retails and it's not the state doing anything it's just people putting it in and yeah. you know well, well I mean, there's only so many crazy motherfuckers that want to step into fucking retail right now oh yeah and with, so do you know the number of stores uh, we are at, oh man, I was looking at it the other day, to be honest. Um, I know it's stupid. It's yeah. It's like, it's like 14, like 1,400 something, something or something. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. It's like 1,408. Um, no, it's like 1,400. Have we surpassed, uh, liquor establishments? I think, I think I saw some Albuquerque quote did. about that. Albuquerque, yeah, Albuquerque, Albuquerque did. Yeah. So Albuquerque. we haven't as a state? Uh, it, it could be possible. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, it looks like we have. Uh, around 2,000 licenses as a whole, 633 of those being retail specific. There we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so well, we lost but that, a few. But that doesn't mean that that's all the retails yeah. because that means retail specific. So some people could have like multiple, like the, the micro businesses yeah. or the fully integrated. So, yeah. Yeah. So you got like, you know, the ones yeah, that more have more than a thousand. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There's more of a thousand total. 
Um, but yeah, the retail, I think we were at 700 and it's dropping. That's, that's even lower than the numbers that I remember from last month. Right. But uh, I kind of see that um, we're going to stable out eventually. And that's what we're going through right now. The bubble pop bursted. Um, and it had been building up, you know, and building up. And I kept seeing those numbers jump hundreds, you know, every month of the retail establishments. And now we're kind of getting to that point where um, <coughs> we're going to see the places that don't have a good model and then didn't make the great decisions or they don't have a good product. We're going to see them start to close. Well, and they're taking, and CCD is taking licenses. Yeah. And that, um, that's why I was saying yeah. naturally those ones will close. And then I was going to mention CCD. Paradise taken. Is that the only one officially that's been like. Oh, taken? that that one that one was yanked. Um, I know. I know that's case closed. Yeah, yeah like, sweet, um, sweet leaf. I know that one. Well, they're uh, fucked. Yeah, yeah. They got but popped. but they. I don't. I don't know if it's it's reached final outcome. Like no, 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 no. They're going to court. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's um, but that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. You know what's kind of wild? Um, and I'm guessing it's just the um information age. But I found out by a Facebook post, and it was CCD. That they made an inst or no Instagram, I'm sorry, an Instagram post that CCD made saying that you know Paradise's license was revoked, and I yeah. was like, damn, they blasted yeah. them on their fucking I Instagram. Mean, but don't fuck it, up. It was it was public. It was public knowledge. Yeah. Um, and I, th I think it was their way of like saying this public knowledge. I think it was their way of saying like, hey, check it, like set this example. Yeah. 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 No one you wants know. to be you know rung up on the social media. Yeah. You know. So you got to applaud them for being transparent, though. Oh, dude! Right, 100%. right, right. Well, and I was like, "Oof!" I was like, "Damn!" Yeah. You know. Like, and, but yeah, no, hundred percent. Yeah. And for those of you that don't know, get on the website and check go, it out. Go look it up on the state on the CCD website. There's public record mm -hmm. um, of their violations um, yep. of their uh, tickets um, discrepancies for all the different licenses that have been busted yeah 100 percent um <clears throat> you can go there look at it you can even you know um i guess uh make a complaint uh, now they changed up the website i was looking the other day because you know i've been getting so much information you know yeah. this past last week was busy um with information and everything and um yeah they, they changed the website up it looks like and, and it looks like they're full swing and um in their crackdown right now because uh that's another thing that's going to kind of help us with these numbers like i said before is these places that are messing up they're they're going to get caught and uh it's already happening it's not hard to do things right and that's what i keep telling them <laughs> i've been telling them for the longest time i was like guys just do it the right way i don't know like we we're talking earlier they feel like immune to the law or something And to me it's just self-control yeah it's just you know the laws you know as as a cannabis business owner you should read your state's regulation yeah. and just follow the rules yeah um realize that to me it's to me it's like sacred it's I am doing something that not many people in the world are allowed to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's such a large and thing. I feel like honored. You know what I mean? And it's, that's why it's sacred in a sense is I don't want to fuck this up. I don't want anybody to fuck it up because um, we're doing something in a sense that's 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 pioneering, you know, what is the, the cannabis industry. Yeah. Um, and that's every license holder and every worker and every owner and every advocate and every, you know, media person and every everything in the cannabis industry, we are pioneering a, a new industry in the fucking world. Oh, yeah. Um, that eventually will be accepted by the fucking world. Yeah. Um, you know, granted, there will always be that, like, you know, who knows, fucking Saudi fucking Arabia or whatever won't allow it. Or, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Somewhere we'll just be like, no fucking way, which cool. We like the um, old, my friend. Not the weed. No, no, no. Right, not right, right. <laughs> but. <laughs> it's devil. American devil. <laughs> but the majority of the world's going to accept it. And, and the, the people that have, that have been in it, the, the original fucking OGs that were there pre-market to the, to the ones that have like trailblazed and the, what is the cannabis industry across the, the country will be the pioneers of, you know, this new industry that eventually people will just, I want to do that. You yeah. know what I mean? I want to go to school for that because that's a commodity um, that the world wants. You know what I mean? And and it's just a known thing. Um, so, yeah. So well, I don't know. I think, I think, I think there's a certain sacredness in that. And there's a certain like super cool part about that. You know, people have, people have fought their fucking entire lives. You know, the old hippies fucking protesting and, Going to the Capitol and, and doing all the shit they did. People have fought their whole lives to, to try to legalize cannabis because it was harmless, 
because it was an amazing plant and had medicinal value out the ass um yep. fucking schedule one <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah that's what's like and, and, and those people you know it's, it's to to get a license and be and, and to be told you can do this under the confines of these these laws these regulations yeah to fuck that off to shit on that is just fuck it, you it's not you that know? bad it's not like we're in california you know like where we're getting taxed off the ass with everything we do you know like you know, they pass a fart and they get taxed well exactly right and don't get me wrong i am huh. not for the massive taxation oh, without fucking God. representation that we receive yeah. as as an industry in no way am i saying that i am, am, am for any of the bullshit fucking robbery <laughs> level fucking <laughs> tariffs that we that we are are oh subject my God, to yes um i'm saying follow the regulation of the program set in front of you yes. your, your cannabis program yeah um you know of course pay your taxes if you fucking know you don't want if that you, tax man if you want to breathe fucking outside air um <laughs> you know definitely definitely pay your taxes but, fuck. um but no as far as like if you follow all the laws and pay the taxes, let's say you're doing everything good, what would you say recommend for like anyone to say try to survive the ripple effects and shit like that to from MSOs or just to stay relevant basically? Fucking bang. Fucking go out there and do what New Mexicans know how to do and fight. Uh -huh. Um, come up with something more clever. So. Um, come up with something better looking, better tasting, better quality. You, you truly, when you're put up against the, the corporate giant, when you're put up against yep. the, um, the hyped up, you know, marketing money backed brand, you have to truly have a better product. 100%. Um, you got to work harder. Yeah. Um, and, and that's where a lot of guys don't get it. Um, they, you can easily just say, oh, fuck, I've been pushed out by the MSO, you know, whatever. Right. Fucking, I tap out, you know, you name it. They, they can do it cheaper. They can um and but can they do it better yeah um, right and what you know, do you can, do different to stick out exactly um so you got to be unique um you got to stay relevant you got to be cutting edge um one thing we've learned at, at farmers and, and you know we're constantly constantly in product development yeah um you know i've got it every time i drop three couple products and you know one to three products i'm i've got another you know three to seven products that are in development um we're constantly trying to go for that next big thing yep. um that we watch market trends you know what i mean and we want to make you know what people want yeah. um and that can change from this month to next month um so you know you got to stay on your toes um stay relevant like right. i said stay stay grinding be creative because yep. i agree with you because we're open to all types of collab and we're still open to work for other yep. people just to throw it out there. Well, works work, <laughs> works work. Um, that's another thing. Don't be, don't be too proud to work. Um, I think that's one thing we've worked with everybody from the the biggest company, um, to to the smallest company. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, money's money. Works works. Yeah. Um, you know, cannabinoids. And you know, can you know? Just like you, we we soup with a fork. We want to stay hungry. Yeah. So if they say we got enough work for you that you can't work with anyone else, or like, give me three of those. And then some. Yep. Yep. And then, and then, yeah, just offer something they're not. Yeah. You yeah, know, um, there's these companies are going to come in state to state. Um, and, and yeah, they're offering whatever. Yeah. Um, if, if you're local, if you want to, you know, know how to, you know, stay up, keep your head above the water and offer something they're not. And do it right. Yeah. Right. And do it right. The of course. Ball. Of course. And and at the end of the day, be ready to fucking bleed. Oh yeah, you know, right. everything costs money. Yep. You know, I see a lot of young business owners. You say cannabis, everything goes up seven hundred percent. Yep. I see a lot of you know new cannabis Back. business owners that just they come in real hot. They got all this fucking money, mm -hmm. but as soon as they got to spend it all, they fucking they're hurt and they don't realize mm -hmm. that it's not. Yeah. It's That's not easy. just the initial blow. Yeah. It's not like hey, I need this much X amount of dollars to start this business. It's I need that fucking monthly. Yeah. And and yeah, I don't know if when it's gonna come back. Yeah. Uh, right. It's gonna come back, but And we don't know how the price how point's gonna be for everything. Because yeah. I mean we started up here and I knew that was yeah. never gonna be the price point again, and we're coming down. Yeah. Um to more of a stable market price. Well, and we saw this with Hempocalypse. You know, everybody went out mm -hmm. and got the rich guy's money for Hempocalypse, mm -hmm. and they did that one way. 
Um, and I saw it. And they did that with the $10,000 a kilo CBD price, um, which all the OGs, all my OGs listening will know. Um, <laughs> at one time, you could make some fucking money off the CBDs. Yeah. Yeah. So when the hempocalypse started and the farm bill was passed, or when the farm bill was passed um, and, and things really got weird, is you had all these people, you know, you mostly weed heads, mm -hmm. um, you know, and I say weed heads as in cannabis experienced guys that said, hey, we can go grow hemp, the CBDs, illegal or legally. Um, so let's take all this energy and let's put it over here and, you know, we can grow the best weed, so we'll grow the best hemp. Well, this huge market emerged hmm. and all this money was injected it, oh, into it crazy. off the thought in the whole fucking deal was 10,000 a kilo CBD. Yeah. Um, you know, how much will this, and I looked at it and the reason I know that number is cause I saw these like prospectus, um, you know, different perspecti, I don't know, what perspectives, per, 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 you know, these, <laughs> these different, these different asks for money based off this figure. So these acres were, you know, uh, whatever calculated and i can make this much kilo yeah. or this much cbd per acre blah 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 ten thousand a kilo fuck by like a year and a half in by like season two it was down to like three hundred dollars a kilo oh it was cheap i remember getting um, people getting ounces for like 20 bucks 10 bucks. you know and so so mm -hmm. all that money injected, just that ROI, that return, I had just <laughs> gone. Yeah. Like it's not happening that way. No. Like you're, you're, and then, then with everybody fucking doing it, you had the supply and demand was completely flopped over. Oh, it was crazy. You had fucking oversupply <laughs> across the entire fucking country. And like the demand was like weak. Yeah. You like, had freaking Burger King putting CBD in burgers. <laughs> Dude, and, Dude. and yeah. you know, I was one of the first, like, consultants, you know, extraction guys that, like, started telling people the truth. Yeah. And, like, you know, I don't know for sure. I'm pretty positive I coined the, the phrase hempocalypse. Like, it was, it was bad, dude. I saw it, and I was telling people, like, stop. Stop putting money into it. Like, fucking leave. Yeah. Like, just abandon. Sell yeah. this shit. Sell it to a THC guy. Like, this is right. like, huh. like it's, oh. and, and do these equipment salesmen and like these you know, consultants and, you know, pff, fucking hemp pushers alike oh, just push this massive hemp industry that just wasn't necessary. Yeah. Then we had like CBD shops, like every, we didn't, we didn't have the appetite for it as a country. No. We, we produced more like enough. I think I've looked at some figures, like we produced enough CBD that year to like, fill the world like with cbd <laughs> or like you supply the world with cbd for fucking like years and, and people still went to black market like i what what is what is this like it's the salad without the salad well and, yeah. and what people you know the the mainstream doesn't realize is all that stuff went into converted leaders all that yeah. cb a good chunk of all that fucking cbd just turned into your Delta 8, Delta 10, oh, Delta yeah. 11, yeah. Delta 9. Explain, oh, right. explain that a little better. All that bullshit. So people took the excess of isolated CBD mm, and right. they used acid chemistry to convert it to other cannabinoids. Yep. Um, you know, there's, you know, from one cannabinoid, from one molecule, you can manipulate um, through organic chemistry and synthetic chemistry, you can manipulate that molecule to, you know, from one cannabinoid to the other, yep. from, from CBG to, to, uh, CBN and everything in between, um, depending if you know your shit or not. Yeah. Um, you know, all this gas station CBD and all this fucking, no. you know, we've talked about it before the, the, the Delta fucking Delta products, you know what I mean? Um, cause most people selling, you know, CBD aren't, or are, most people selling THC products are not labeling them Delta nine. No, you right. know, some people are, yeah. and that's what it is, of course. Yeah. But the Delta products in my mind are that gas station product that yeah. Yeah. the, the THC products you can buy at the smoke shop or a place without a license. You know, these, this is all converted fucking farm bill shit. Yeah. Um, you know, 
loophole fucking you know bullshit where they've they've basically flooded the 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 world with these products um you know these are the products that everybody's up in arms about that look like fucking sour patch kids or yeah, fucking yeah. you know whatever look cheetos like cheetos bags cheeto you know yeah. they're, they're, they don't give a fuck they're no. putting the deltas in fucking whatever. everything yeah. you know what i mean they're selling and it anywhere this industry only exists is because you know of um just cannabis being illegal on the federal level and to start with if if cannabis was legal we wouldn't have this hhc the delta a the delta o the a b c d well, XYZ, you definitely delta. have those things because chemists exist yeah that's um, true right. you just yeah. wouldn't have it at this level i wouldn't and think. and chemists like to fuck around yeah um, breaking bad type shit and we love them for that um but you definitely have them but you wouldn't have them mass produced exactly at you know at a at a local 7-eleven near you <laughs> um and that's where it gets kind of weird because they're not all like great chemists there's no. a lot of you know non-chemists yeah. making these products mm -hmm. there's a lot of um room for error mm -hmm. um oh, yeah. these these products are not regulated properly these products are not tested properly um they're not tested for the right things there's you know and i'm no organic or synthetic chemist so i'm not even going to get into the right the right way to say it but there's byproducts and there's shit that that can be made you know converted in the process especially when you're not starting with a with a super clean substance yes, yeah um that can affect you negatively oh yeah um and we don't know because fucking humans just haven't consumed enough of it in the past to really study it but we don't know what these things are going to do to us down the line we don't have enough data yet and you know i bet your ass there's right. going to be that fucking that that commercial that says did you fucking did you hit the fucking deltas, and you know? D did you hit blinkers on the fucking delta? <laughs> right, right. Um, between, At least ten of them. Yeah, in, in between twenty twenty and fucking you know twenty twenty three. You know, you may be eligible for a settlement it, of twenty thousand dollars. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Right. And you're gonna get you're gonna see some twitching fucked up people fucking come forward that are like, oh fuck. <laughs> You know, and, and you don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't mean to make fun of it either. You know what no, I mean? But, no, but but who knows? What if it causes some sort of organ failure? What yeah. If, you, know? you know, what if, you know, down the line, you know, somebody's losing their grandpa because he fucking, you know, used to smoke those carts. He used or, to hit the blinker. You know, whatever. Right. You know, and so. That's how he got grandma. <laughs> And and that's how as like humans, we've almost learned. We like, God, safety's written in blood. And this stuff is like, we've learned by fucking just. <laughs> destroying people and fucking like yeah. people dying and, yeah. and it being bad yeah. and then it's like oh fuck we better put a warning on that yeah, yeah. They, they better at least know what they're that, getting yeah. into and yeah. so i think that can actually go into our community too because they see that and not being well educated they'll be like well it looks like a car or when like it's all the evil cannabis's fault at the end of the day you're right when you say that you know the gas station fucking cart fucking they line up right next to the fucking our legitimate cannabis product and they're like same same yeah. you know what i mean and it's it's no fucking joke yeah you know and and you're right it, it any of this bad publicity puts a, a a bad mark on us as an industry yeah and especially you know everything going on too like you know these places that are doing stuff bad you know that got shut down or the ones that are still doing it it, it gives us a black eye and you know and it doesn't make us look good <laughs> in new mexico and nationally because a lot of the stuff that happens even here in new mexico it goes on a national level when it comes to news so people know about this um you know so the, things like this aren't going to be kept under the wraps and you know like we hear about it from other states you know oklahoma had so many illegal you know like 800 illegal grows or at something least. like that yeah at least yeah that they know of yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the blinker i want to hit <laughs> <laughs> you know and that's that's the reality of things when people people are greedy yeah um you know people aren't stupid either no it's true um well yeah, there's a lot of stupid people but uh <laughs> for the most part there's some there's some shining stars in there um yeah. and they see the opportunity and they see when regulation is down and they get in and they fucking try to make their buck it, it doesn't that's surprise crazy. me um, 800 girls got shut down. You know what I mean? But it took <coughs> them bringing the fucking DEA Five and years. like fucking they yep. got they got low in Oklahoma, bro. Oh, I, it got bad. I seen some crazy shit. So and it and what's left is this beat up fucking oh, yeah. uh, rough, rough uh, network of a of a market, and Ugh. and it sucks because I know a lot of people that it's hard for them to find 
quality products, quality yeah. cannabis, because everybody's just fucking cheap, 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 cheap. Yeah, and um, that's why I'm glad the state, you know, is a little quicker to crack <coughs> on, down on our yeah. um, program here instead of waiting the foot five years and then the federal government getting involved yep. because that's what it'll lead up to and that's what i'm afraid for new mexico is if we keep allowing or if we were going to keep allowing that the federal government was going to step in and that's even worse you yeah know? you know and it's it goes back to almost like you know like prison rules you know mm-hmm. police your own shit or you know the the group will come and police it for you yeah exactly you know what i mean and 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 it, greasy wheel know. gets oiled yeah one yeah. way yeah. or the other so that's yeah, true. no, we got to take care of our our state. We have to we have to run shit properly. We can't be a a fucking uh, a black eye on the industry. We can't be a fucking a sore thumb, you know, and just making everybody look bad. Because at the end of the day, it makes me, you, and the other guy look just as fucking bad. I don't mm-hmm. care how clean my facility is. There's, there's as many people or whatever. How fucking how I follow the fucking rules. As many people that are out there right. fucking it off make make me look just as bad. Yeah, no, that's so. that's facts. Then that's how come like going back to like us going out and meeting different people. Like we're united and, uh, and strong as a unity rather than just you know what I mean. Like yeah. putting that line in the sand. That's just gonna <coughs> end our shit quicker. I feel. No, right and I appreciate it. You guys came up to me. You gave me nothing but love at the yeah. at the hash and headies. Um, it was really cool. Like I said, you know, um, glad you guys you know saw me out. And, and said what's up because yeah no, it's cool meeting you cool meeting your operation Bro. crazy that 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 chad uh met you guys and is working with you guys because obviously knew him from before um but yeah man thank you guys for coming out appreciate it man. um That's where can combo. people follow you shoot um the main page for crucis craft cannabis and they're kind of messing with it, so i created a backup account which crucis uh c um crc excuse, excuse me c-r-u-c-e-s uh cannabis or craft cannabis with the z because we're about that biz yeah and that's uh the backup account and um we also have facebook and hopefully twitter soon yeah and uh you can also check out chad grassy logics on a separate note on the podcast definitely educational great guest oh, yeah. appreciate it i'll oh, throw yeah. all the links in the description yeah appreciate and that. i and we've definitely i definitely uh, watched the show chad and i appreciate your ad ad advocacy right Hard ad, right now adv- advocacy advocacy i appreciate your advoc- advocacy yeah we, <laughs> we i get the work <laughs> right. no i appreciate what you've done for the cannabis community um from the med days um i know yeah. you've spent a countless amount of time at meetings and fucking yeah. state bullshit and 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 for you obviously driving all over the state um so yeah no thank you for that right. um it's cool that that you, that you're involved with this company and that you're you know we wouldn't exist without his work just to point yeah, that appreciate out it, no, appreciate that man really? that's that's cool and, and that's cool that that you guys you know respect each other in that sense um i think it's really cool too that you're bringing to light a lot of the the news in the industry yeah, yeah um right. people know you as an advocate so i'm sure you become a magnet for those calls yeah, you know, yeah, yeah hey, exactly. Chad, did you hear what's going on you know, yeah exactly Actually, i didn't fucking let me know yeah you yeah. know and so but that's cool that you're actually putting that information out instead of just in a sense you know gossiping and keeping it in the in the in the you know certain little groups you're letting everybody know yeah you know because this stuff's public this yeah. stuff's public fucking information it is um and, and the public you know, needs to know the patients the, the business owners, the, you know, the, the consumers, the state, the non-users yeah. Yeah. should know what's going on, you know, in a state regulated fucking yeah. organization. Exactly. And um, I try to go towards the educational route, you know, with the yeah. podcast and everything. Yeah. And I just, I try to keep everybody, you know, involved and, you know, informed as much as I can, you know, um, it, it's just, you know, it's really hard when people don't want to participate. Yeah. You know, I, I can preach all I want. But, yeah. you know, you need participation on the, at the end of the day. Well, and you as well as I know, the biggest problem with those state meetings that we used to go to, and, you know, you probably went to a lot more than me, is there was always barely anybody there. Yeah, that was the worst Every, part. Everybody said how they, oh, fuck yeah, I'm going to go fucking protest. I'm going to go what You don't even have to. You can just come to, like, the public fucking meetings. And, yeah, like, and speak publicly. And speak. Yeah. They, yeah. they give you a microphone like this, and you can go, hey, my name is whatever, and this is what I stand for. And, you know, very few people to take that advantage. Yeah. Um, especially the ones bitching about, how it is, how it's going to be, how it was. Um, very few of them actually step up and, 
and do something and speak on a state level. Yeah, um, reading, uh, reading, just reading articles, looking up that information earlier. Uh, interviews with people from the CCD and legislators are asking. They're out. They're they're reaching out to the community and asking people to come. They want feedback. They mm-hmm. want guidance on how to yeah. make and you know how to write these laws, how to adjust them and tweak them and, to make them yeah. work better. So go and show up. Do your job as a as an informed citizen. And that's actually right. why the the bill this past year didn't pass and go anywhere. And it wasn't just the public. It was also the businesses. Yeah. The cannabis businesses didn't really step up. And the legislators actually said that. Yeah. Because a couple of people got, people got mad like why? And they said you know they clapped back like well you guys didn't tell us what to do. Yeah. You know, this is why it failed. It didn't have well, enough and support. And they're watching, don't get me wrong, the, the regulators are watching what's happening from oh, yeah. almost outside. Yeah. Um, and they're, they can only do so much. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They need the public's input. They need the public's particip- participation. And they need the members of the industry's yeah. participation. Yeah, it's like that meme um, where, what's his name, was yeah, shot, shoots the guy, and he was like, why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah, no, there's there's a lot of that going on. Well, cool guys, man. Thank you guys for coming down. Appreciate um, it. Man. It was a pleasure having you on. Hell yeah. That was great, brother. I appreciate it. Hell yeah. Um, should be on the lookout for our products, too. Top Crop, Las Cruces, also Hell Southern yeah. Park and Dark Matter. And... Uh, uh, Roadrunner Cannabis Alamogordo Hell yeah Shout out And, and uh, Re- Chillax and Rio Doso And then that's all The main plugs I gotta yeah. shout out That's dope man I'm glad you guys Are getting spread out Yeah Um, I really hope to see Your stuff in more spots And yeah. see you guys hopefully grow we, As the Hopefully as the we get it up go. north Oh we're working iron. on it Yeah we're definitely Working on Hell that yeah. And shout out to uh, Cozy's part of the team And the Joint Sicarios Hell yeah They're doing their thing we're Trying to bring up Different product up here So we're definitely, definitely grinding how you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Did you guys have some product in the Hash and Headies? Uh, we did, actually. Nice. We nice. turned in uh, yeah. uh, a variety. Nice. So hopefully Good. that didn't work against well, us. Keep, keep, right. keep competing um, and keep getting out there, keep working, and uh, we wish you guys the best of luck. Hey, sure. brother, I appreciate you. Thanks for the love. Oh, yeah. Thank you.